So here's what my bathroom looks like after I demoed it. Um, you can see there he's using PVC pipe and uh, ABS pipe. Um, he kept the same paneling, the wood paneling for the bathroom layout. He then changed the wallpaper. Um, the only thing what that was done here is <clears throat> this really horrible uh, piping right here, plumbing. I replaced this with a uh, PEX piping. Um, it had the <clears throat> ABS and uh, P-trap and that wheel well, which took up a lot of space. And you're gonna see here later, I replaced the, all that so I can have uh, a lot of room in there. So actually I can stand on it now, um, straight up now without uh, bending over slightly so I can fit in there. I'm 6'2 and I can fit there now comfortably. So this is the current progress. I have a shutoff valve I created with the PEX piping. Right there, that's the main shutoff. And then I went ahead and used one of the PEX piping adapters. That, pre that preserves some of the PVC piping. Elbows, a T-handle to the main the main, uh, the pump, the main line, and it recirculates back to the shower, which is right there. I'm gonna repaint that, it's ugly. But there you go. So it circulates back. It's a hell of a lot cleaner now. And I'm proud of it. Super clean. So I replaced these L elbows right here because there was this one was leaking and yeah so what the owner previous owner used to do is he put plastic to metal which is no go it should be metal to metal all the time and uh, plastic to plastic so now there's no leaks and now we had some very elaborate Hex plumbing, as you can see, no leaks, no leaks. This is ancient. So here's a little update on the renovations. I finally put in this waterproof vinyl um, tiles. They're very light and they're very super easy to install. Uh, it wasn't tricky at all. I just put a bead on some of these, but I think I'm gonna do that later because I did a test fit and it stripped away some of the edges right here. So yeah, this is a tub right here. It's the old tub. I did an epoxy lining or an epoxy paint kit on it, so it looks like new. And I got a shower head for it. And it's only for the shower. There's no like water that goes in there directly to the tub. That's why I decided to put the, this right here. That way, if I need to, this uh, faucet head is movable and you can have water going to the tub. Uh, another thing is I got some soap dispensers. I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put these. They're so there's three of them. Um, the sink came in today. It's this guy. It's uh, about eight inches, and it is small, but that gives me a lot of counter space. I really don't want to mount anything on the walls anymore. The only thing I want on the wall is a mirror, and then I can put stuff out here in the counter. I just don't want it to fall off if I ever go on a trip somewhere. Just the less, thing, less stuff on the walls, the better, I think. And yeah, um, like I said, this the head rotates. I can't rotate it right now because I got my phone in my hand. But yeah, this rotates either direction. You can get it out of the way. That way, if you're doing something else and you want this out of the way, you can just you know, save space. And I have all this space to work with. So I could put toothbrush holders and soap dispensers and then when I'm on the move, I can just put it away. But yeah, this is a wallpaper right here. I went with this pattern just to fit the 
the white and this is kind of yellowish gold to fit the, the trim the theme of everything I so yeah and uh, yeah that's a little preview I'm gonna take this tub out again I still need to do the plumbing um, I'm gonna have to put a low profile um, uh, uh, p-trap and they do sell those so yeah, this is a progress I got, and this is a little preview of how it's gonna look like at the end. I still need to put the wallpaper on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna put this new sea water valve. The old one was not holding a seal, so I'm gonna replace it. Cleaned out the edges, and yeah, I'm gonna reseal it. So that was pretty easy. Just to give you a little preview too, this is going to be possibly the new wet bay. Got the water softener right here from RV. And then I got a three stage water filtration system, which I'll explain later. But uh, yeah, on to the next task. All right, so I decided to redo all the PEX plumbing underneath the sink. Instead of preserving all the PVC, I decided to change everything. So, plastic to plastic, metal to metal. And I also did the toilet. Everything is placed plumbing in, in here. Right now, I'm gonna test out the direct water line, which is this guy. It's coming in here, direct from the city water. Going to here, I got a shut off valve. And then it's going to the filtration system, which I'll show you next. So here is that direct water line I was talking about. It comes in here. It flows through this faucet line. In here, I got a shutoff valve in case I need to work on these. And then it goes into these lines here, here, here. And it goes out here. Right now, I'm just gonna flush out these filters because they need to be flushed out before you, you use them. So that's why I designed it this way. So I can just unplug it. And then when I'm done, I can service it by plugging it into the uh, the uh, grid or the camper's water lines. But uh, yeah, took me a while, but I got to figure it out. So I'm gonna run water now and rinse out these filters. So what I got here is a one micron sediment filter one micron carbon and then followed by a one micron carbon. In the future, I might do a, a 0.2 micron, which is finer than this, and then carbon, and then I do a ceramic filter. And it's pretty much a reverse osmosis kind of thing going on here um, in the future, not right now, but yeah, it should make a world of a difference with uh, the, the water, the quality of the water. All right, so I'm running the water right now. And uh, just went through the sediment filter, carbon, and carbon. And now I'm gonna flush out the water right here. So yeah, this is my filtration system. There's no leaks. As I can see, Legit. I'll shut it off now. There's a shut up valve. So I know it looks like a mess, but I, I'm just looking at my leaks. See if there's any leaks. And there's none so far. Everything looks good. Uh, I got that sealed up. I got the shower head plugged in. Just to give it a test run. works I'm gonna work on this later and then if we go back here real quick I have no leaks here so this system is complete all right home stretch so I gotta find the right fittings for this uh, this setup uh, this is a low profile p-trap right here I'm trying to piece together a drain 
it goes downward. So the water goes in here and then there. Right now I don't got the correct fittings. Uh, as far as the vent, I am planning to uh, connect these guys right here and couple them together. And then on here, oh, on here I'm planning on just using some flexible pipe to connect to the sink right there. And I'm also using this fancy waterless P-trap. It's got this valve that prevents any water from going or smells from going back into the cab or the main cabin of the, of the camper. It kind of keeps all the smells down. Uh, another upgrade I'm gonna do is a different uh, vent up in the roof. So that will come later. But once I get this done, I'll be able to shower indoors now finally use my shower so yeah it's uh, coming along it's very tight spaces for plumbing but if i figure it out i'm done i'm gonna have to run a home depot now see ya okay so i figured something out at home depot so i got the low pro pp trap i got this adapter that came with uh, the kit the uh the waterless kit the tube and then i added a half inch thread, threaded adapter to a one and a half inch J tube that goes into the, uh, the rubber seal for the holding tank. And now I'm gonna test out the water, see if it drains. Ugh. shower and then uh, finish up the shower real quick and then uh, install start on the, on the, on the sink all right so here is the current situation with this so I uh, already have the PEX plumbing installed as you can see I also ran a wire through that area just in case uh, I want to run some more stuff through there because I have a feeling that when I install solar, I'm gonna need this route to uh, pass some wire down. So I'm gonna have that already installed underneath. I cut out this area just in case I need to service any plumbing. And uh, I reinstalled a rubber grommet, a new one right here to uh, for the tub drain. The uh, ventilation for the gray tank will be recoupled again. And I also have I have a, um, a T elbow that will connect to the sink. Uh, right now I have the, uh, the uh, waterless P-trap and then where I want it, I might bring it up some more just so I can get some, uh, some you know, the water can flow a little bit downhill at a, at a deeper grade. And here's all the pex plumbing I've done. Uh, as far as the uh, renovation, big renovation is, I managed to uh, drop. So this is a wheel well, and I'll show a photo of it how it looks like. It used to be in the way right here, and what the previous owner did, he uh, he created a a stepping stool for the tub. And then on top of that, there was a P-trap right here, which brought up the tub like pretty high and there was no room, no headroom really. So I managed to cut out the, that, uh, that wheel well, drop it down, and therefore bring in the tub down. And now there's like an inch or two of uh, headspace. I created this pad right here so I can uh, put it in there once the tub's installed. And uh, let me go outside and show you how that wheel well looks like right now. So here's the wheel well. As you can see, um, it uh, it goes in, and I managed to invert it. 
does not make any contact with the tire at all. I already tested it on the road. Uh, so what I did is I, uh, I fabricated this pretty much. I used rivets, as you can see. I riveted it together and then uh, there were some gaps and I used these uh, epoxy to seal up any gaps. And uh, I put it right here. And then I also added some, uh, some of that foam fillant what it's called and then I spray painted it black so yeah this is where um, the wheel wear is and because it's dropped down I have more headspace in the shower so there you go so here's how the new plum is gonna look like so got new ABS this is a vent goes to the roof it pretty much gets all the smells from the gray tank and it vents them out outside through the roof and uh, so I got an adapter, two and a half, or one and a half to one and a half adapter. And then I got a, a T that goes to the drain and also goes to the uh, sink, which I added uh, two and a, uh, one and a half thread. Oh, look at here, right there. And then it's gonna lead to this area right here. And eventually it's going to go through that and through the uh, wireless P trap, which is sitting right there. All right, so uh, sink plumbing update. I got the sink done. I used the several kits from the Home Depot. I decided to go with this uh, flexible stuff because it's easier. And uh, if it was a house, that would be, of course, a little bit more complex than this, but more professional. So let's drain it. It's gone. All right, so we're close to being done. I just wired, test, testing the wiring for the for the mirror. Uh, I installed this uh, uh, shower uh, shower rack, whatever shower bar, whatever you call it. The shower curtain rod and uh, this one's a little special because it gives you more space in the interior of the uh, focus just more space inside the shower head by moving these like that see it actually moves out the shower curtain give you a better view from this side and then once you're ready to put it away just collapse them in and then put the curtains aside another benefit to this is uh, uh, back then when before I did all these uh, renovations the shower I mean the towels will be on a rack right here but it will be leaning against the wood so that's not a good thing now the shower rod acts as uh, two things now it's a drying rack and a shower curtain rod because it leads, it's literally right on top the, on top of the, uh, the tub. So yeah, it's a good coincidence that works out. As far as the mirror, I got the mirror working. You got the uh, shut off right here. See that? And then shut it, turn it back on. And then you can change colors right here to color temperatures. And then I can also control the brightness by holding it down. And then hold it down again. And then turn it off. Okay, there we go. So I'm using this coat hanger, this wire coat hanger. And I'm going through there, all the way through here. And uh, this one right here. So I can uh, hook them up to this uh, right here. So they're tapped in, so I can get the mirror, the front lip mirror uh, working. And then after that, I'm, I should be good. I should just mount this mirror on the wall, get a test fit, and I should be done. So this is a test fit. Looks all right. Uh, still need to manage this wobbly situation. I, I don't think all the uh, 
screws are in the holes, so I need to adjust that. And then I might add some really extreme adhesive tape to the to the whole thing, and then remove this masking tape. I'm good after this. So this is a test fit. Looks all right. Uh, still need to manage this wobbly situation. I, I don't think all the uh, screws are in the holes, so I need to adjust that. And then I might add some really extreme adhesive tape to the to the whole thing, and then remove this masking tape. I'm good after this.